So guys, welcome back to the Chris Angler channel. Today we're, uh, I, I am fishing the Interpros here in County Sligo or County Mayo, kind of on the border I'd say. It's, uh, this beach is called Ennis Crone I think. Ennis Crone. Anyway, it's, it's a bit up the country from where I normally uh, post my videos. Um, the Interpros, we have three sessions. So we have one this morning from 10 to 2. And then we have one from 6 to 10. So we have a little break in between, which is really nice so we can get some food. Um, I'm, 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 I'm a bit tired. I'm excited though. Um, if if you are watching uh, this video, and oh well, I guess this is kind of going to come out after the interpros. But uh, anyway, good luck to everyone fishing the interpros. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. There's one hook here. Am I using? Well, that's the one up one down. I think you want to hook two hooks, to be honest. Now, I'm just going to unhook them. 
here. Alright guys, um, this is the second session now. Um, uh, this is the second session now. There was a lot of weed in the previous session and there's a bit of weed now. Um, the weed is supposed to clear off but if it doesn't they're gonna call off this one. But the one tomorrow is still, is still uh, gonna go ahead. Um, there's just no point fishing if there's gonna be that much weed. and Or even more. But as the tide goes down uh, I, think, I think the weed will go away. I guess yeah, I'm baiting up now. I think it's 10 minutes or 10 minutes to the start of the competition, and uh, we'll see. First cast of the session two. Um, uh, I'll go up, put on a tree to recast it and attack it with So lads, just another flounder. Well, my first flounder at the night session. He's, he's a nice flounder, very wide, has really nice kind of dragon scaly pattern here, I know how to explain it, there you go, white, and yeah, I hope I can get one or two more to get me back on the leaderboards. First cast of the third competition, third part.
it's um it's pretty hard to film and do stuff overall. That's a uh, flounder. All you get here is flounder anyway. And it's count counter. I hope. <laughs> So windy. So I guess this is going to be kind of an outro, it's going to be, I'd say it's going to be long, uh, I'm recording it in the, in the sh shed or the rig making and this, the, the fishing shed um, here, uh, I was going to make it at the last competition, uh, the last, mar well yeah the last uh, session, uh, but still for the last 40 minutes of the competition and above you could say, it could start to get really windy. So the wind was offshore, then it started magically just change like that, onshore, onshore, twice, probably twice as strong, coming at you, my rod stand fell over, and yeah, uh, so that's where I'm filming it here, it was rainy, so I didn't even think about making a video um, there. Uh, I'm going to do a quick summary now, it's um, the f first session, I got four fish, I got, well, they were all flounder, uh, there's nothing really special about them, to be honest, just for flounder, really, really happy with that. The night session, really weedy for the first two, two and a half hours, two, two and a half. Um, got all my fish in the last hour and a half hour, uh, or 40 minutes even, I got, I got a, most of my fish there. Um, I got three fish that day. I got one uh, pretty big flounder. Um, if I can get a photo of that, I'll put it up in the video somewhere. Uh, 33 centimeters. I got another one that was 27. And another one I think was 18. Really small flounder. Um, that was it for the night session. Then in the morning session again. Um, on Sunday, I got three fish again. Uh, one was... 16, 18, and I think another one was 18 again. So two 18s and a 16. I, I, I don't know if it's uh, right or wrong, but they never actually put up the length of the fish and all. And, uh, yeah, so I'm remembering it, but I'd say it's around the same there. Uh, it was kind of an okay three days, really fun experience. Weedy and rainy and windy for the last day. Um, overall really fun. I want to thank my parents and uh, my family for making, for helping me do, uh, doing this, especially my dad behind the camera right now. Um, I want to uh, thank Kieran Corcoran as well, uh, my sponsor, one of my sponsors, I want to thank all my sponsors as well. She, there we go, uh, Corcoran's um, uh, furniture. He really helped me uh, 
do overall in the inter do the inter provincial sponsored me. Really, really great uh, time. Thank you to all my sponsors. Um, really helped me out. My family, and uh, yeah, and all the stewards and people hosting that competition and making it happen because it's really, really tough. I talked to a couple of the stewards. One guy was, uh, he was in there. I think it was three o'clock in in the morning, um, doing still doing the results. Um, really, really thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Then overall for the results, I got onto the Irish team, which I'm really, really happy about. I got it's in my packet here. I got this little pin here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I'll take a photo of it and put it up right now. And um, it was really great to get onto the Irish team. Getting onto the Irish team means I, I hopefully will be fishing in uh, next in Wales next year. I, I think it's going to be in June or July. So uh, make sure you watch watch out for that video. Um, hopefully, if another pandemic doesn't happen, <laughs> it won't. It won't. But. Uh, yeah, uh, Wales next year, can't wait, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you to my sponsors again and to all the stewards and people making the competition happen, my family, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment and catch you later.